God can give a person favor. Notice God gives favor. He gives favor in the sight of other individuals for your benefit. That when others see you, they see something on your life and they are compelled by what they see on your life that's called favor to show you extreme kindness. Joseph was in prison for something he didn't do. But even in prison, God gave him favor so that the jailer turned the whole prison over to Joseph. See, this was God's favor. And so the jailer was extremely, extremely kind to Joseph because, listen, when he saw Joseph in his sight, he saw something special on Joseph. Between the power of the mind and the power of the spirit, we can walk in perpetual victory. We can have a victory after victory after victory through the power that is available to us in the Holy Ghost. Wisdom always precedes favor. Wisdom always precedes favor. Say it with me. Wisdom always, always, always. Say it. Wisdom always, always, always precedes favor. So favor becomes a consequence of something else. Amen. Walking around talking about blessed and highly favored is nonsense if you're a fool. If you walk in wisdom, you don't have to confess favor into existence. It comes as a consequence. Amen. Favor is a result of something else. Notice I'm going to read some verses as quickly as I can. Look at verse 40. And the child, John the Baptist, and John the Baptist grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with what? Wisdom. He was filled with what? Wisdom. And what else? And that word grace is also the same word favor. And notice, and grace was on him from God. Now listen and listen carefully. Why was grace on John the Baptist, a favor on John the Baptist? Because he was full of wisdom. Now, you don't get full of wisdom without effort and applying yourself and learning and thinking and processing and meditating. See, favor comes as a result of something else. And please notice, please notice, John the Baptist was full of wisdom and the favor of who? Not the favor of man. The favor from where? God was where? Now notice, if there's favor upon you, it's not a natural thing, Adam. I can't see it in the natural, Adam. But if it's something on you called favor from God, when I see you, I see something that makes me want to be kind to you. It's something that comes upon you. It's a garment in the spiritual realm. It's called a garment of favor. When God puts it on your life, people see it in their unconscious mind. They're not consciously aware of what they're saying, but they see something unconsciously that they cannot explain where I'm moved to be kind to you. This was on John the Baptist. But what preceded favor? Tell me. Say it loud. Notice that same chapter. Now let's look at Jesus again. Look at verse 52. And Jesus, beginning at age 12, he increased in what? And in physical statue and in what else? Notice always wisdom precedes favor. Notice Jesus and John, they grew in wisdom and they attained favor from God. 
but they grew in what? Wisdom. Listen, therefore you can make this equation. The more wisdom a person walks in, the more favor they will attain. Wisdom is based upon a person's level of wisdom. A favor is based upon a person's level of wisdom. The more wisdom, notice, as Jesus grew in wisdom, as John the Baptist grew in wisdom, they also attained favor. But favor was the consequence of them growing in wisdom. Amen. Now, listen now, how come Jesus grew in wisdom? Look at the verse above that verse, please. Look at verse 51. And Jesus went down with them, that's Mary and Joseph, his parents. And Jesus went down with his parents, and he came to Nazareth, his hometown, and he was what? Read it. Notice how come Jesus grew in wisdom uh, from age 12? Because he was subject to wise counsel and instruction. Wow! Ow! How do I know these people are blessed? Because they, they have subjected themselves to wise counsel and instruction. Amen. That qualifies you to now walk in a level of, uh, of favor. How come Jesus grew? And wisdom, your Bible says he grew in it. Because the verse above that says he subjected himself to Mary and Joseph. Now they were very brilliant spiritual people. The Bible says Joseph was a very just man. The Bible says Mary was highly favored of God. So that meant that she walked in a certain level of wisdom. Well, notice they imparted that into Jesus. And they qualified him for it. Your instructors here have poured much instruction and counsel in you. Godly wisdom and counsel from all your instructors here that have positioned you to enjoy wisdom now. I mean to enjoy favor now. Do y'all see this? Do you really see it? Well, notice if you will Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. Hallelujah. Well, you see, wisdom, a uh, favor is not something you just confess and you're still stupid. You have to subject yourself. Listen, listen, and understand this. I can easily tell who's going to walk in a certain level of favor in their life by seeing how willing they are able how willing they are to subject themselves to wise counsel and instruction. Amen. That determines the level of favor that person will walk in in their life. Amen. Amen. It's not magic. It's predictable. Notice, if you will, a, a Proverbs, what I said? Four. Let me hurry up. Proverbs 4. And look at verse 5. Well, no, that started verse 1. Hear, ye children, the instruction of a father, and give attention to no understanding. Notice, give attention to instruction. Hear, give your attention to instruction. Well, you see, the staff here at this school, they're like mothers and fathers. Your Bible says in the last days that God will turn the hearts of the children to the wisdom of the just. The wisdom of their fathers, doesn't it? Amen. Why? He says if he doesn't, they'll be cursed. Many people are cursed today because they will not lend themselves and give their attention to wisdom of fathers and mothers. You all have. You've been so content to be in this little teeny place absorbing instruction. How can you not now leave here and not have favor on your life? Amen. You met the qualifications, you understand. Amen. Notice what your Bible says. Now look at verse 5. What's the first two words? Read. Yes. Now listen. If it's something that just drop on you from heaven, you can't get it. Favor drops on you from heaven as a garment. So you just can't decide you're going to get favor. But you can decide to get wisdom that qualifies you for favor. Look at verse 5. Get wisdom. 
get understanding, forget it wisdom, forget wisdom not. Neither decline your from the words of what? Never decline yourself from hearing wise counsel and instruction. Never say, well, I don't need to hear that anymore. That's when you disqualify yourself to walk in favor. This is one thing I like about these kids here. Young adults, I can't call them kids now. They're leaving their Christian school and they're still going to Christian environments. Because if you go to the world, they're so blind and embalmed with filth and their theological and doctrinal and philosophical views. They will embalm a kid with lies. No, they're going to stay under wise counsel. Wise advice from godly people. You know what that's going to cause them to continually walk in? Say it. Say it loud. Do not decline your ear from hearing out of a wise person's mouth. Notice the result. Please look at verse 7. Wisdom is the most important thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Verse 8. Exalt her. Put a premium on wisdom. And she shall do what? Every one of these people, even this school, will be promoted in life. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Because of wise instruction that caused them to attain wisdom, they're going to now receive promotion in life. I guarantee it. Just watch what I say. This isn't something that you scratch your head and wonder why. Notice, please. Exalt her. And she shall wisdom and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to what? Honor. Say it loud. Honor. As he did Moses and everybody else. Look at verse 9. She shall give to thine head an ornament of what? Grace. Now that word grace means of course favor. Now look at me. Let's say look at me. Adam, he's worked at getting wisdom. He's opened up his ear to instruction, and he's really listened and paid attention. He sat patiently, even when he got tired of being in this little teeny little school with first graders. He still just sit there, and now he's absorbed. Now the Bible says this wisdom he's attained, now listen, because he's worked at gaining wisdom, now this wisdom will now put an ornament of favor on his head. See, this favor is a consequence. We want the favor without doing the work that qualifies us for the favor. Do you see this? So I hear a little crazy people. I'm blessed and highly favored. Blessed and highly favored. And you know they're stupid. I'm blessed and highly favored. (laughs) Won't listen to nobody. Don't come to church half the time. I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm blessed and highly favored. Well, see, they want some easy way, some easy, cheap, plastic way. And it's not real. Are y'all still with me? I want to hurry up. Look at verse 5. She, which is uh, 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 wisdom, she shall, and how do I get wisdom? I get wisdom. I get wisdom. How do I get wisdom? I sit under wise people. Look at these books, people. These are some of the books, these Kids have have to read in this school, just some of them, not all of them. These books are profound, profound books, full of knowledge. Notice, this is from uh, Ben Carson. We all know him, right? One of the most profound black men in America. His mama couldn't read. He was raised in the projects, but she made him read books. He fell in love with reason. Now, 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 listen. Once he fell in love with knowledge, he gained wisdom. Once he began to walk in wisdom, what came on his life? He's a profound man. They read his books. They read books from Condoleezza Rice, her life story. Now, this is over and above their academics. What is this for? To give wisdom to them. If they incline their ear and apply themselves, they gain wisdom. 
What's the results of walking in this wisdom I've gained? Now, God has put something on your head. An ornament. When people see this ornament, they don't see it, but they see it unconsciously. When they see this ornament, they say, you're special. I move. I mean, you're like a little queen. I mean, I, what can I do for you? I'm just like everybody else. No, I see something on you. I can't explain it. It's called favor. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, 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 Booger T. Washington, uh, Shakespeare, a uh, uh, common sense, Frederick T. Douglas. I mean, these people, these fathers and mothers who can impart so much understanding. When a child subject themselves to the wisdom of the fathers, your Bible promises there'll be something that will come on your life that will make you stand out among thousands. And all of you have it. All of you have it. Even Terrell. <laughs> look at verse Look at verse nine. So shall, are y'all still with me? So shall, I'm sorry, she, yeah. She shall give to thine head an ornament of favor, a crown of glory shall wisdom deliver to thee. So how do I get this favor delivered to me? Through applying myself to get wisdom. Through applying myself to get wisdom. So when I'm talking about I'm praying for favor, it, you don't get it that way. See, that's cheap. Notice chapter 3, please, and look at verse, are y'all still with me? Notice chapter 3, look at verse 21. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom in what? Now, how do you keep sound wisdom? By not letting this stuff, listen, depart from your eyes. You still got to subject yourselves to reading sound instruction. You don't say, okay, I'm through now. And then go back to thinking stupid. No. You subject yourself for the rest of your life. I never, ever not read. That's how I keep wisdom before me. Sound wisdom. Why? It comes through my ears and also through my eyes. Now notice what wisdom will do though. Look, please. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and instruction. So shall they be life unto thy soul. And what else? Read it. Grace. That word grace means what? Favor. And favor, notice, it would be like favor around Adam's neck. Amen. Just a pretty necklace, a pretty something that causes him to stand out. When I see all these other people, I see something about him that makes him special. The Bible calls it favor, but it always links favor to wisdom. Favor in your Bible is never separated from wisdom, ever. Notice now, verse.